the trail heads down that way. And I think we end up down in that valley somewhere. So uh, let's do it. This is the way down. We passed somebody just a little bit ago and they said coming back up is the rough part but it's well worth going down into the, uh, the valley. So that's where we're heading. Sorry for the wind noise. It's a, a long way down. And uh, as you can tell, there's no guardrails or anything along this path, so you better uh, be pretty sure-footed. And it's a little steep right here. Oh, look at that. Well, we made it to the bottom. That orange rock is petrified wood. And we're getting ready to head out this way. I've noticed we're down below the wind now. So it's very, very quiet down here. As a matter of fact, let's just stop just a second. And you can hear how quiet this is. Your ears almost hurt. It's so quiet. So uh, looking forward to walking around down here. I saw this from above last year and I thought it'd be a neat hike. So uh, we're gonna do it this year, yay! <laughs> blue Badlands and Blue Mesa. And if you look, there's different colors in the soil which reminds me of the paint mines in Colorado. up almost like a like a hoodoo like it's on top of the clay underneath here and that is supporting it but 
what's underneath is slowly eroding away. And it is a pretty good sized piece. Nancy's going to stand next to it there. There you go. But like I said, if you look underneath, that clay is eroding underneath of it. To where on the other side, it almost looks like a hoodoo. And then look back up in here, there's all sorts of stumps and broken pieces of petrified wood. And a little overlook up there on top. been here to Petrified Forest, I highly, strongly encourage you to come out here because it is just so beautiful. You know, we've done two trails. We might do one more short trail a little bit later, but the scenery is just so gorgeous. Right now, it's very quiet here. Some trails are busier than others. Uh, but we got here early today too. I think we got here about 8.30, somewhere around there. And uh, now the hard part comes. And we have to go back up the hill. So, uh, but if you've never been here, put this on your list of places to go. Because uh, Nancy and I, we highly recommend it. Well, we're on our way up the steep part and uh, I looked for the up button for the elevator and couldn't find it so uh, we we're actually at about 5,500 feet in elevation when we were down on the valley floor so we're climbing out and I think it's about 120 feet or something like that is the elevation change but uh it's a little steep, but we're slowly working our way up. And uh, if I have a heart attack before I get to the top, you know, just let you know, I'll leave everything to Nancy. But that is, of course, if she makes it to the top. So. <laughs> This is a monument for people who have died trying to come up that. I'm just kidding, it's not really. It's just a place to sit down. Do you want to take a break, Nancy? Okay. Nancy says, I ain't stopping. Oh, you hate stopping. It's not the stopping I hate, it's the starting back up. That's what's so bad. So I'm just letting this record this portion of it so whew. we're getting there I'm actually not as out of breath as I thought it would be Check on Nancy. See where she's at. There she is. Don't panic, folks. She's coming. Slowly but surely. Here are a few still shots of our visit to the Petrified Forest National Park. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.